Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Under quarantine, the same as everybody else, basically. Voluntary so far. We hope it stays that way, but we don't know. I have basting brushes and I have shovels and I have a 14 by 14 inch canvas and quite a few little tiny swipe cards. And I'm probably going to use them. I wish I had some smaller ones, but I do have scissors if I want to cut them. And so I'm going to just start like I'm always telling you guys. I have a fourth shovel that you can't see. And I am going to start this time with some of this Anita's white metallic. Maybe you can see it. Who knows? And make four shovels that are pretty much the same. And because the white is the one thing that I need to use with this uh, multi-surface acrylic from Folk Art, it's a neon, I'm going to put it right next to it. And then I'm just going to keep picking my favorite colors again, even though they might be a little redundant by now. That's a Folk Art Color Shifting Turquoise. And then I'm going to find my di Dioxidine Purple. I think that that's a Hobby Lobby Masters Touch product. It's plenty saturated and works well, so I'm sticking with it. I, the one bottle I didn't shake up so far was my green gold, and I haven't used a lot of that lately in any of these. Now, what did I call them? Check, uh, shovel check keyhole swipes. We'll see if that rings true. So this is my favorite right here. This is the color shifting folk art purple. And I've almost used most of the colors I wanted, except for the one I was really after, which is either a mas modern masters Venetian blue. No, that's the color shifting folk art blue that I added unicorn spit to. So I think if I if I stop now, I might have a chance of not having overdosed this. But I really want some of this. Um, it's a 24 karat gold. Decorate Americana, I believe, with a little bit of orange in it. Is there anything else I want next to that? I kind of want some more of that green, but it's not what I want next to that orange. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to give myself a little bit of that. And that's probably either a Hobby Lobby Master's Touch or uh, something else. Now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to, eventually I'm going to scrape off my swipe cards into that little container. For right now, I'm going to try and get all these shovels down there without spilling anything. And I pre-primed my canvas white, so I had a nice heavy layer of paint on there. And I keep thinking, what do I want to do? And what I really want to do is try and use my shovel put a line of gold down either side of the center. I don't know what that is. But it doesn't look like a bubble. Goodbye thing. I'll just get that to the edge. I suppose I could put a little more in there. And I'm going to be using my black enamel. Let's hope there's enough in here. I'm not sure there is. No, it doesn't look like there is. It'll get used no matter what. I wanted to try the shovel to see if I could get a really nice even layer and if that would pop some cells. I didn't I did a nice painting that I had in mind to do like the one I did before that got me lots of cells from the swipe, but um, I wound up using the basing brush on it because it didn't. And this seems like the configuration of the gold next to the centerpiece was the problem. And I wanted to put white down either side. And I'm trying to do this in the order so that I won't have to worry too much about my paint drying out too quickly. But I'm not sure how that's going to work yet. I have a real difficulty seeing the difference between white paint and white canvas under this canopy awning. Even though I have only the natural daylight, it's so bright reflected off the white canopy. Okay, don't touch that. Yay! I made it all the way around there without 
spilling anything. I want that out of there. <laughs> there I go. See, that's my OCD. Can't help it. Can't waste paint. Let's make this go across. And then I'm going to do the best I can to put some checks in here. I may pick one of my colors from the squeeze bottles also. I'm definitely in contemplation of attempting to push a bead of paint right up into that. And I'm imagining that I have covered it all and I hope that I am correct. This is my black enamel. I found out if you use too much of this, it obliterates things you like. So don't do that. And I can never get enough of this. So I've decided right now that I'm using it. And that again is the Faux Cart Color Shifting Purple that I use just like it is. All right, so here goes nothing. Let's see if I'm only going to get the orange in a couple of places. I don't believe that I put paint down over a layer. Actually, it was black. That's what I'm remembering or misremembering. I'm going to let those go down over the edge. I'm not going to worry about that mark right there right now. It's like I'm definitely going to have extra paint. But I had to have enough. So I'm going to try it again. I want that to be even. I didn't get what I wanted. Oh well. I don't even know how this is going to be, really. Obviously my, my blocks are a little different size on both sides. I have a lot more white, it looks like, here. Maybe I can use one of my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and get the colors to come down some. Whoops, it would be better if I didn't stick it right into the paint. So that's kind of different right there, but different is good. I can handle different. I've got two shovels now, <laughs> extra. I, uh, I guess I was thinking about that 16 by 20 inch that I really want to do. And I hope they stay nice and wet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of sponge that used to go in a watercolor box and uh, drape some of it over those shovels. I left myself a piece. And now it's time to get on with this. And I'm wondering if I want some more black or not. You know what? I'm just going to start. That's what I tell you guys to do. That's what I'm going to do. I am going to split the difference. I'm going to grab a smaller piece of card. And if I can't find a smaller piece, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do and cut it in half. Like so. Now there's my scraping dish right here. Whoops, don't spill the paint. I'm going to start at the middle. No idea what this is going to look like with the white at all. I'm going to scrape my card off. Just put in ever so slight pressure on the card so it doesn't skip and leave holes. Now I could be stopping and using the paint on my on my card to cover my edges, but I think I'd rather wait. until I actually need it. Unless, of course, there's a temporary emergency like that one right there. Come on. <laughs> OK, whatever. So these sort of are different every single time. That's why I'm completely compelled to keep trying them. And I don't not necessarily compelled to put a basting brush in this yet. Maybe not at all. 
going to tap my finger over the edge. And then I'm going to do what I said I was going to do about this edge right here. I'm going to take my card and my beautiful colors and just apply a thin layer in a couple places and dab my finger knowing that while the paint is fresh a lot of times it will cover. So that's pretty cool. I like that. It's, uh, it's still got the drama I was looking for and I get to keep all that white. I want to go every other one. I wonder how that would be. I wouldn't get the same effect, would I? Probably not. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Maybe next time. I'm going to take this paint right here right now and put it down on this edge because I can. Hey, that's the name of my first book on the Amazon link under Show More. It's a blue link. Uh, which reminds me, hey, if you guys wouldn't mind watching the videos longer, it is the one way that you can help me to tell the YouTube algorithm that I might be worth giving good placement to because it only understands watch time. Still trying to swipe into that black enamel in the center, which seems to be working out fairly well. One of these times I'm going to do crisscross, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but at least for right now, I could probably take a skewer, not that I don't want to really actually keep going, and fill that little space right now just by bouncing the skewer and dabbing because I don't want any little blank spots. Oop, I don't want to be all the way over there either. I stole the purple! Okay, flip the card. And I missed a spot. So we're going to have one row that's completely different than all the rest. I had to go back and do it. Except for, I can put a little more black right in there. Just touch that up. It won't be perfect, but it'll be better than it would have been otherwise. I won't have my gold cells. Darn! Had to make a mistake, didn't I? Mistakes are how I learn most of the time, though. I think it's the way most of us learn what not to do so you can do something different the next time. And I am fairly confident that this will still be pretty cool. Although I am going to want to remove that mark I said wasn't a problem. And I should be able to do that fairly easily, she said, hopefully. I still got one more thing, one more area on the end. I'm just going to flood that now before I have a chance to torch and end my possibility of doing something with that. All right, so one more. Now, if I want to do something, anything, like close those keyholes up by dipping my card in to my residuals, I can certainly do that with that paint. I can do it all the way across the bottom if I want to. And that'll be cool because I'll go back and fill in anyway. And that could have been black. So I'm just dipping my card in and laying it down. I'm not pulling it. I'm not putting any pressure on it. Well, I am pulling it, but I'm not putting any pressure on it. I can fix the edges after you guys are gone. I don't know what to do about this. I kind of want to do something with that, which means I might want to do what? What exactly do you want to do? Nothing I can think of that comes to mind right off. I think what I'm going to do... Oh boy. I have a nice curvy. Do I want to do that? I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to use... a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula.
trying very evenly. Oh, it's going to ruin it. I'm going to take away all my white. Oh well. So th having done that, it kind of makes me want to do a few more, and I'm not sure how I would do that without a much thinner tool. So let's see if I can make a much thinner tool while I have some time. Yeah, not a lot of time, but some time. Let's see. A very, very thin tool. Swipe, swipe sheet. It'll make it different. Different is good. It's still not thin enough. Wow. But it's still cool. All right, I'm just going to go down here. I'm not going to pull through that gold because I want that gold up there. I actually want that gold down here too. So I'm just going to pull that down a little bit. Pounce through it. It's all stripes. I love stripes. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the same by any stretch. I kind of want to do even, even weirder options. Now there, it's true there's a little tiny piece of paint skin on that. But I like adding texture to things. I got some great little cells. I got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you. Starting with I do sell my artwork, and if you're interested in buying some at any point in time, it's a big help to support the studio right now. So there's no more sym symmetry here. I'm just going to do whatever comes naturally. And then I'm going to do what I just did, which is to add a few marks to make things interesting. Not like that one. And call it good because it's different and I like different. I like learning new ways of doing stuff. I would prefer those were all the same, but sometimes you get what you get, especially when you're playing with accidental art. What are you going to do? So if you guys decide to help me out and you want to uh, watch the videos longer, there are 1,200 videos and you can find them on created playlists on my channel, my YouTube channel. And they're under all playlists. You can find tomorrow's video on the community board. You can find, underneath the video, you can find my paint pouring recipe, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. I think I'm just about done except for doing my outside edges. I kind of want some turquoise in there, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting what's going on here. Curious as to what I can get away with. So I'm going to try and get away with something. I'm going to take some of that black, I'm going to take that little thing off there and then take some black enamel and just pull that piece of gold right down because the black enamel is what usually makes the cells. And yeah, I'm just changing everything up. I still got a minute left, and I wonder what I should tell you. And I lost my crib sheet again. It must have blown away. Darn. So check your notifications and your subscriptions and find out if they're still on, because sometimes they get turned off. I hear quite frequently lately that is still the case, and I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can do. I've uh, toned down the commercials in a, co in a couple places. I hope that's true. You guys can feel free to let me know. Ask me questions if you want. Check the end screen for this month's drawing. And uh, the winner will be announced on the third week of April. And you can see the prizes there if you go look for them. There are five paintings to choose from. And uh, this is pretty cool. I actually like this a lot. I'm sure that if you guys give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it very much. You can find PayPal or Patreon links underneath the video. And that's a $10 minimum donation to get in the monthly drawing. But that's what's keeping me here on YouTube and keeping me painting because revenues are down across the board, for me at least. And uh, so that and maybe purchasing a painting. There won't be classes for